Okay, just a short video tutorial of how to place your order with Clean Easy. Um, log on to your Internet Explorer, and the first thing to do is to log on to the Clean Easy website, which is www.cleaneasy.co.uk. You might want to add that to your favourites, then you won't have to type it in every time, you just find it there and you can log straight onto the site. That will take you through to the main Clean Easy site, which the public can look at. And as a distributor ready to place an order, you will now click this button here, Distributor Login. The next screen you will see will ask you now to enter your account number and your password. Uh, your password will have been emailed to you by Clean Easy um, when you joined the business. First time you log on to place an order, it will actually ask you and take you through a very simple procedure just to personalise your password. It is case sensitive, so do make a note of it and remember it. If at any point you forget your password, you can just click here where it says forgot your password, click to reset it, and an email will go straight into your registered email inbox uh, with a brand new password, so pretty foolproof. Click on login. We come up with uh, an important information screen with any relevant information at the moment. We're going to click here at the bottom and that's going to take us through to what's called the Distributor Support Arena, sometimes referred to as the DSA. And on that there's lots of um, support there to help you with your business. We're not going to look at that in this video. Uh, for now we're going to go on to the Internet Ordering site, which is this big yellow button here. And we just click on that and that will take us through to this screen, Order Processing. It will tell us the time to the period end, which is your bonus deadline day, how many days, hours, minutes, and indeed seconds, so you need never miss a bonus. On the left-hand side here, you've got your menu boxes, and what we're going to do here is we're going to click on Order Entry, and that will take you straight through to your order processing screen. Uh, a few things on here, it shows you your credit available, shows you your current balance, Here's your unique reference order for this num for this order number for this order you're going to key on. And you'll see I've already got some products which I've already keyed on from orders I picked up earlier. What I'm going to do now is carry on keying on some more orders to show you how to do this. The cursor is flashing in the product number box here and you quite simply enter the product codes that your customer has written on their order form. So 055158867. If you then just press your enter button or your return button on your keyboard, that will default now to a quantity of one. You can change that just by typing in whatever quantity your customer wants. If it is more than one, I'm just going to delete that and go back to one. And then you can either press your enter or return button again to add that to your order, or you can click on the add to order button. At the top of the screen, a description of that product you've just entered will come up. You can just do a very quick check to make sure that agrees with what your customer has written. In this case, a wooden remote control organizer. You'll find your customers will always write the product that they want, but sometimes they will write the wrong product code because it can be a little bit confusing on the page of the catalog. So for that reason, always have a catalog set with you so you can just look up a product and make sure you put the right product code in for your customer. Now as you enter your product, you'll see that has now gone up the top of the list there, the wooden removing, revolving remote control organizer. And you've also got information down here about your delivery charge. It's telling us at the moment that my current delivery charge is £12.25 and I need to order another 163.47 for free delivery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the next product, 095044. Eight, six. Press my return button, press it again. That should be cord name clips. Yes, it's come up there, and that's now been added to the top of the order screen. If you enter uh, the wrong product for any reason, you can just delete it by pressing on those two little cross keys there. If you have an order further down your pile for the same product, so let's let's enter the remote control organizer again. Zero five five one five. 886 and another customer wants one you will see that it automatically upgrades that quantity so we've now got three of those I've, I've previously ordered two I've now ordered another one okay so that's how we key on our orders what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on keying some orders on until we get to the point of free delivery and then I will take you through and show you exactly how to process that order to clean easy 
Okay, as you can see now, the order value is up to £245, and we've keyed on 41 products, and the current delivery charges now come down to 595 We need to order another £4.97 for free delivery. So I've just got one more order to put on here for some jelly moulds, which is 0520948486. We want one of those. Ah, we're now up to £250.78, and, and the order has now qualified for free delivery. Now, when you place your first orders, um, it's always a good idea to order some carrier bags so you can finish the job properly. Um, and there is a search bar here where you can do a product search for, for indeed anything, not just for sales aids. Um, but for the moment, I'm just going to click in there and I'm going to type in the word bags. Click on product search and a little window will come up and it will show me what bags are available. So there's the bags that are actually in the catalogues for customers to order various products, cheese bags, oven roasting bags, etc. But for us as distributors, we've got small carrier bags there, a pack of 100, and we've got the larger carrier bags there. Uh, what I want is to get a pack of those, so I just click on that to highlight it. Click on accept that will now enter that product code into the ordering screen just takes a few seconds for that to clear there it is just want one of those i'm going to add that to the order it will let me there we are the small carrier bags pack of 100 has been added successfully so that's it that's my order entirely entered it doesn't take very long at all and we're now ready to process that order through so what we're going to do is come down to this button here where it says accept order, click on it. Don't worry at this stage, it won't send your order, it will give you a, a summary of what you've just ordered in terms of the value. It shows me that um, I've ordered products to the value of £249 and the net amount due on that invoice is going to be £200 and 5 pence. Now, if I've got any returns to be picked up, either in week one or week two, you only physically return your returns once a period, otherwise you will get charged. This is where you would book a returns collection by ticking that box, and you would tick on that box and select the number of boxes to go back. I've got two to be picked up. Um, there is a separate tutorial video on actually how to do returns. <clears throat> okay. At the top of the screen here, you can see we've got a button if we want to change the delivery address. It's always going to default to your registered address, but let's suppose you're not going to be in. Click on that button there, and you can then enter the details of the alternate address you want that particular order to be delivered to. Just a, a point here that the very first time you select an alternate delivery address, you will need to telephone the service center just to let them know and confirm the address. That's an anti-fraud operation. But thereafter, you can change the address for alternate delivery any time. You may not want to change your delivery address, but you may want to have a keep safe or a leave safe option. And you'll see down here, I've got typed in if out, leave inside garage. Now, if you have a leave safe option, that is entirely at your own risk, but I have to say in 15 years, we've never had a problem. So if you think you may be out and you want it leaving in the greenhouse around the back or um, you know inside your garage, just put your details in there. And at that point, we can accept the order. For some reason that minimizes my screen, let's accept that. We've gone back to the uh, screen there with the breakdown, and all you now have to do is confirm. Now, I do have some more things I want to order, so I'm not going to send this through at the moment. But if you click on confirm, a pop-up screen will say, are you absolutely sure this will send your order to Clean Easy for processing? Click yes, and your order is gone. And then what will happen is, by return, you will get an email confirming that Clean Easy have received your order. It really is as simple as that.